Over here, Rich Morano here. Hey, Floyd, how are you doing? Good, man, thank you. Congratulations, masterful performance. Thank you. Um, I was just wondering, did you expect more of a roughhouse and dirty kind of approach from Robert Guerrero tonight, where he would try to really get physical, or were you actually able to control that kind of thing so that it never actually occurred? Well, I told you, if you guys can go back and look at all access and look at the interviews, I told you it's different when it's on this level. This is at the pinnacle of the sport. You know, this is, like I said before, the pressure when you come in on this level is not like regular pressure when you're fighting on just a regular network. And, you know, this, when you're at the pinnacle, you have to be prepared for this all the way around the board. Because mentally, this can really mess with you. See, me, myself, I don't read articles. I don't go read the article. You know, I don't, you know, I don't read all that stuff. What I try to do is focus on my craft. You know, I go to the boxing gym, I do what I got to do, I work hard, I go home, I rest. And then, like I said before, I gave this sport my whole life. And, and, and like I said before, I'm not, I'm never going to overlook no opponent. I wasn't going to overlook this guy because this guy came up from a, small, a smaller weight class. I came up from a smaller weight class also. But what it came down to is mental. Mental. This was a mental game. And this, I told him this is chess, it's not checkers. So, you know, um, my leg, they said I was losing my legs because I was 36. I told I showed the world I still can box. I showed them my defense is still there. I showed, I showed them I'm still fast. And uh, like I said before, um, we, had a, we had a great training camp. I can't cry and complain about that, no matter how the fight played out. Um, you know, it is what it is. Floyd, over here, over here Floyd, to your left. Um, you're right, you're right, you're right, sorry. <laughs> um, congratulations on you know, the first fight on the whole CBS there, a great performance. Um, it's, you keep proving that nobody really cracked the code to Floyd and um, over and over again. So do you think that at this point that a lot of these fighters, they feel like just to be in the ring and face you is a success, it's a win because of the big event, the pay-per-view, and these guys don't really think that they can really genuinely beat you. It looks different. I think it looks. I think they think they can win, but it's really different on the, on the outside. A lot of people say, you know what? I'm ready for the big event. I'm ready to face Floyd Mayweather. And um, I can remember when I was a kid. You know, I was like, one day, one day. You know, when I seen Mike Tyson, when Mike Tyson used to fight, I was, I was a teenager. I came out here to Las Vegas. And I see Mike Tyson at the boxing gym a few times. I see him because we train at the same boxing gym. He used to have nice Bentleys and stuff. And I said, you know, if I can keep working hard, I can get it. You know, I said, if I keep dedicating myself to my craft, I can get it. But as far as opponents, um, I truly believe they think they can win. But it's different when you're inside. It looks like, oh, I can hit him with this shot. I can hit him with that shot. And um, how I weighed my options for this fight, how I weighed my options for the fight, I said, okay. He fought Casillas, and it was a tough fight. And Marquez beat Casillas. And then I said, okay. He fought Casamayor, he went the distance. Casamayor was like 40 years old. So I said, Marquez knocked Casamayor out. Then I said, well, Floyd, is he a stronger fighter than Cota? I said, no. I said, well, is he a better fighter than Cota? I said, we just have to see. And that's how I weighed my options. But do I think the fighters think that they can win 